What's up, guys? What's going on, man? I'm Paul. This is Paul in Theology, and we are back with our daily devotional, and we are continuing the saga of Samson. So the last thing that we were at was Samson left. He was mad that they figured out the, the poem or the riddle that he had given them. And he left so quickly that he didn't even take his wife home with him. And so then it said his wife was given to his companion. So that's where we're at. If you haven't read 15, 1 through 17, go ahead, stop and read right now. If so, you already read it, man, let's get on down. So we talk about the four things, you know what I'm saying? What happened? Uh, what uh, can we know about God? What can we know about man? And then finally, how can we apply these truths to our lives? So what happened in the story? Well, it says Samson went back to uh, the city, you know what I'm saying? And tried to get his wife. But his father-in-law was like, uh, no, bro, um, you ain't coming. He's like, I thought that you didn't love her. I thought you hated her, man, you know? And so I gave her to somebody else. And then uh, he's like, why, why don't you take her sister? Ain't she better anyway? He was like, nah, bro. But he's like, now I have a reason that I can uh, do this. Start this uh, this fight with these fools. He's like, I'm innocent. You gave my wife away, so I'm going to do something to you. So he took like, uh, I think, 300 foxes and he tied them by their tails and set their tail or put a torch in the middle of their tails uh two he tied them two by two put a torch in the middle of their tails and sent them into their fields and it was the time of the harvest so he was like uh burning up all of their food that they were supposed to have that they'd worked all year for you know all season for and so he burnt their food up and whenever the philistines heard about that or they saw it they were like who did this man and um then the Philist, somebody told the Philistines like it was Samson. It was that it was he did that because a Timnite dude that gum uh, gave his wife away to his friend, and so they the Philistines went down to um, the the father in law of Samson and his wife and they killed him. They burned their house down with fire. And then Samson's like, bro, I'm I'm gonna avenge their murder. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off on these fools. He's like, and after that, then I'll be done. But we all know it never ends like that, right? Once you start going down a road, it's like it continues to snowball and snowball. Well, uh, anyway, he did that. He went down and he beat these fools. Uh, he uh, 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 killed a bunch of them. It said from, from hip to thigh. And so it's like, he just like, they took them all out. He, he he beat them all down, man. And then after he did that, he went to the cleft of the rock of uh, Atom. And so after he whipped these fools, the Philistines went down to Judah and camped. And then they attacked this uh, area where some Ju Ju Judeites lived. And uh, the, they were like, why are you guys coming against us, man? And he's like, dude, because we, we need Samson. You got to get Samson for us. And so uh, the Jew, the Judeites took 3,000 men to the cleft of the rock of Atim, and they went and got Samson. Uh, and Samson was like, just don't kill me. And they were like, we ain't going to kill you, man. But uh, we definitely going to tie you up and send you to the Philistines, and they going to kill you. <laughs> they didn't say they were going to kill you, but... That gun, but they knew that's what's going to happen. At least that's what they were trying to happen. And the thing about it is that these uh, Judeites, they said, they told Samson, don't you know that the Philistines rule over us? So why are you making it tough on us, man? Boy, that's incredible. But then after that, it says they got him to the place and then his bounds just broke. Well, it says they were like flax with fire. I don't know what flax are, but it was like they broke like threads. It just they just came uh, off of them. And it said the spirit of the Lord rushed mightily on him. And he picked up a fresh jawbone of a donkey and just busted all these dudes heads, a thousand of them. And then after that, he wrote a song, a little poem. And he said, you know, Samson, a poetic dude, we got making riddles and songs and all that stuff. But he said, uh, I think. 
The English translation said heaps upon heaps. Uh, it says, and I busted the heads with the jawbone of a donkey. I killed a thousand men. It's crazy in the Hebrew. It's like I donkey them donkeys because it uses the same word. It's, it's really more poetic in the Hebrew sense than it is in the English sense. But, yeah, he's like, I wrote a poem. I, I just whipped these folks, man. And uh, and after that, he named the place the uh, Ramat Lehi or Jawbone Hill or uh, it's like a pile of dead bodies with a jawbone. Yeah, that's uh, that's 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 pretty insane. That's pretty insane. Anyway, so what can we learn about God here in this situation? Well, first off, definitely God has, has got a plan. He's sovereign, man. He has developed this entire story uh, that Samson's life is portraying in order to attack the Philistines. You see, whenever he was uh, consecrated at birth or before birth, technically, God said that he would begin to deliver the Philistines from um, or he would begin to deliver the Israelites from the Philistines. And he is doing that even through Samson's sin. See, that's the toughest part is Samson isn't even a really a willing participant in the salvation of his people, which he was groomed to do. Yet God is still doing the thing that he desired despite the sin of Samson. Well, what do we see about man? Well, uh, we like to take vengeance, man, in our own hands, and, and, and that comes at a cost. It started out with just a, a, an angry vengeance towards his father for giving his wife to another person because Samson left her there alone to, to be fend for herself. And so Samson sets the Philistines crops on fire and after that then we see dadgum that the philistines with revenge kill two people and then with that samson kills a ton of people it's like a big snowball effect that happens with vengeance and we also see about man is that the further we get from God, the more we're okay in our oppression. You see, the people of uh, Judah willingly give up Samson. It says they got 3,000 men to take Samson to what I assume might only be a thousand Philistines. And they have got to have heard about the power and the the might of Samson as he is whipping these folks. But they don't care. They just said, don't you know that the Philistines are oppressing us? They rule over us. What's going on with Judah? What's going on with the people of Israel? As they are comfortable under the oppression of their oppressors. It's because they're not reminded of the truths of what God has done. And so how can we apply this to our lives? Well, I think first off, God's going to make a way despite us. With he, he will make a way through our sin if he has to in order to accomplish the goals which he desires to accomplish. Oh, what joy would be that we would walk through it with him. But what this does mean is that as the Christian, that whatever happens God will do what is necessary for his glory and our good through our lives. See, we're going to find probably here later that Samson is humbled in a few different ways, hopefully to lead him to the glory of God. And so in our lives, I think it's the same way that, that even in our sin, God could move the circumstances to bring glory to his name and bring us to him. But second, I think, man, look around. What's your situation? Where are you at, man? Because don't get comfortable in sin. Don't get comfortable in the wickedness and the evil that is going on in your life, man. Turn to God. 
because salvation is here. Recognize your salvation is here. Samson was in the midst of them and could have saved them from the oppression of the Philistines, yet the, the people of Judah turned it down. They weren't even, they really didn't even turn it down. They just didn't even recognize it. And so open your eyes. See, salvation is here, and it's in the person of Jesus. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you in the next one.